Today I'm going to paint this wing right here for my 350Z using rattle cans and I'm going to show you how to. Alright, so first what we're going to need is our panel that we're painting. It is off the vehicle so we do not need to mask it off. If you're going to do something like this on the vehicle, make sure to mask it off or take the part off. Um, since this one already has paint on it from prior, uh, the guy I bought it off of used, we are going to use Scotch-Brite to rough it up and uh, get something for the primer to stick on. We're not going to use any kind of filler primer because this is already a smooth piece. So that means we're going to prime it, uh, smooth it a little bit, and then paint it clear coat. So you're going to need your paint as well. I went to a local paint shop and had to mix up a can of my paint coat for me. Um, got this, a respirator because I got some gnarly chemicals and uh, we don't want to paint it inside of our lungs. And uh, that's, that's it. And so we paint on the old scope and your color. So let's start with uh, roughing up the surface with the scotch brake pad. Along with my uh, wing, I'm doing a little antenna. I have a little shorty antenna. It was painted black from the O'Reilly's I bought it from. And somehow faded to this bronze color. And just for demonstration, this has nothing on it right now either. So we're just going to scuff it up and kind of get some etching on the surface. Uh, so that way the primer will stick to it. And there we have it. So it's hard to see in the camera, but there's some scuffs in it you can see. Um, that's good. We're going to clean it next, but let's start doing the wing next. up it's ready for primer first we need to use some uh, bug and grease remover to clean this off before we have any paint there's a lot of dust particles all over it And after we uh, clean it with uh, spray, wax, and bug degreaser, whatever it's called, um, we're ready for primer. Make sure it's dry, make sure there's nothing left on it, clean it multiple times if you have to, and we're ready for it. We're going to go ahead and leave on a light enough coat for our first coat that we can still see the color underneath it. So setting the wing down, when I set it down and I rest it on this side, this part is facing towards the ground making it difficult to paint. So what I did is a little tip is I took some bailing wire, some string, and uh, I hung it up. And now we're going to paint like that. That way we can get even coats all over without worrying about missing a spot. Don't forget to shake it up. And don't forget guys, unless you want to die at the ripe age of 30, put this on. There we go, we have our first coat on. Now we let it dry for about five to 10 minutes. We've got the part painted. We are gonna let it dry for about an hour before we actually throw paint on there. All right, I've given the primer about an hour to dry, a little over it. Uh, it's dry to the touch. Now I'm gonna go over it with the 600 grit sandpaper and lightly go over it, get any imperfections out, and then we're ready for paint after we clean it, after sanding it. So after we scuff it up, we're going to now take our paint. We're gonna make sure you cleaned it off. Don't use the bug and spray remover, the spray and grease, whatever it's called, wax and grease remover. Don't wipe it off, it'll eat the primer. Wipe it off with a towel, uh, water, and uh, dish soap would work well. Uh, don't soak it, but just wipe it off so you get the dust off and then you're ready for your paint. So I'm, I'm, I'm leaving five minutes in between coats, five to 10 minutes roughly. 
Uh, right now we got tiger stripes on. We're gonna keep layering it on right now. All right, we laid the paint down onto the uh, wing. Now it's getting dark, it's getting cold. We're gonna let it dry overnight so that way the clear has something nice to sit on. All right, so after you put your clear coat on and you let it dry for a while, it should look like this if you did everything right. This looks good, I'm proud of this. There's a little bit of orange peel. Uh, you can wet sand it to get rid of the orange peel. I've never done this good with paint work, so I'm not gonna ruin it while I'm ahead. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and polish it. But man, this turned out good. It's glossy, it's reflective. I am, I am happy and impressed. Let's go take it out in the sun and see how she looks. Oh man, that looks good. That, oh, you can see all the sparkle in it. Yeah, there we go, and that's how you paint with rattle can. Hell yeah. Wow, this turned out really good. So if you follow all the steps, this could be you. Would I do it again? Probably not. Not for anything big, at least. All right, it's a couple days later. Uh, we got everything cleaned up and good, and we mounted the wing. Uh, you want to let the paint cure for about a month before you put any wax on it. Do not put wax on it. The wax will hurt it. If you're dumb like me and you put wax on it immediately after it's done drying and polished it, use compound to take off that wax. Uh, so don't put wax on it. Let it cure for a month. After we let it cure for a month, we're going to polish it again and cut it some more so we can get rid of this one's orange peel. And then we're going to wax it, and then it'll look really good. But as of now, we got it on. Looks pretty good for rattle can, huh? For those curious of how I mounted it, I put 3M double-sided sticky uh, weather it's like body molding adhesive tape on it. Uh, put it on the side here, or on the inside here. And I also drilled two holes. If you, if you take off your interior, there's a hole here, and a hole here, if you look through with the light, we're not gonna be able to catch it on camera. You'll see there's another indented hole there. Drill through the center of it, on both sides and uh, you can drill just slightly bigger than what you need for the stud on the wing that way when you do that you have a little bit of room to play and move it around left and right then you can bolt it down and we tighten it, it'll hold it down and we put the weather strip on it'll really hold it down and that's how you uh that's how you install it on this guy pretty simple didn't get on video because i had someone else help me and didn't want to record them but it's pretty straightforward after you do it your first time anyway i hope this video helped you guys learn how to use rattle cans thanks for watching